Hey everybody, this is GGB Coast Peppers. We're going to be going over Saturday's games. There is, honestly, the games are very much down from last week. There's not as many games as there were a week ago. So, let's start with our 11 o'clock games. There's a lot of those, and then uh, there's a good amount of 6 o'clock games, but there's not that many in between, honestly. Um, we have our first six, 11 o'clock game, which is number 6, Oklahoma, versus number 21, Texas. Oklahoma favored by 3 points on ABC. The interesting about thing about Oklahoma is Oklahoma is right now five and zero, oh, and in those five games, Oklahoma has covered in exactly one of them against Western Carolina. That is it. Tulane covered with a forty thirty five loss. Uh, Nebraska covered with a twenty three sixteen loss. West Virginia covered with a sixteen thirteen loss, and Kansas State last week covered with a thirty seven thirty one loss. Um, outside of Western Carolina, all the games have been one possessions. Last week, the Spencer Rattler kind of seemed to find his footing. He ended up going 22 of 25, through for 243 yards, two touchdowns at a pick. Kennedy Brooks had 15 carries for 91 yards at a touchdown, and Marvin Mims had four catches for 71 yards. Texas, on the other hand, has been an interesting team since that Arkansas game. Obviously, they started out the season with a 38-18 win over number 23, UL Lafayette, um, and then obviously had the heartbreaker 40-21 loss at Arkansas. But ever since they put Casey Thompson in at quarterback, they had a 58-0 win over Rice, 70-35 win over Texas Tech, and a 32-27 win last week at TCU. But obviously this is the biggest game of Casey Thompson's young career. Uh, Casey Thompson didn't honestly have a phenomenal game last week. Only went 12-22 for 142 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. Um, B. Sean Robertson, on the other hand, has proved to be one of the best backs in the entire NCAA right now. This man put up, had 35 carries for 216 yards last, yesterday, last week and two touchdowns. Now, to be fair, that was against a TCU defense that is known for giving up the run. SMU learned that a couple weeks ago when they played them. But on the other hand, B. John Robinson also has looked amazing throughout the entire year. So, outside of the Arkansas game, which everyone had a bad game during. Uh, Jordan Whittington... Uh, ended up leading the team in receptions with three receptions for 79 yards and a touchdown. So out of this, this game long before, uh, Oklahoma's all-time 49-62 and 62 against Texas. So Texas obviously has been the better team. Um, but recently, Oklahoma's been the better team. Last three games have gone to Oklahoma ever since they... Texas upset them in the regular season, and then Oklahoma beat them in the Big 12 championship. And then the year after that, and the year after that, Oklahoma beat them both times. But... Last week's last year's game was really interesting. Uh, I think it was like quadruple overtime or something like that. It was a great, phenomenal game, but a lot of that was Sam Ellinger. Um, and it's it's been a really interesting. I mean, Texas is still in the playoff conversation, and there's not. A, I think I counted thirty three total teams still in the playoff conversation heading into this week. Definitely could have an elimination here. Um, obviously, it's it's a given that probably Texas is going to cover. Right, I mean, every other team outside of Western Carolina has covered before. It's only a three-point spread, but for some reason, Texas is going to cover. But I think Texas is going to win. I think Texas is a good team. I think Oklahoma has been eking it out every single week. And I think eventually they're going to lose one. And if they're going to lose one, if you're on that mindset, I feel like this is a good. This is uh, as likely as any for them to lose. Give me Texas. Casey Thompson having a phenomenal game.